Are you having trouble hunting wolf spiders in Grounded? If so, you aren't alone. I received quite a few comments asking for a guide for hunting wolf spiders since there aren't any recent videos on the topic. In this video, I'll show you how to hunt wolf spiders even if you're just starting out. If there are any other specific guides for Grounded you want to see, let me know in the comments. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so so you don't miss any future Grounded videos. Let's get started. So you need help hunting wolf spiders. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to hunt wolf spiders even if you only have a couple of in-game days. So what we're going to do is we're going to use all basic starting equipment such as the sprig bow. So we're going to use the sprig bow for this. We're going to use basic arrows for this. And I'm going to use the grub armor. Now you can also use the aphid slippers if you want to use those for more movement speed. I'm just going to use the grub armor because I'll get the full set bonus of not of it. Of it um, I think it replenishes your stamina faster. But you could also just use the aphid slippers. You could use clover armor. To be honest, you don't actually need armor for this method because what we're going to do is we're going to hunt the spiders from above by using our sprig bell. Now, ideally, you would also be able to use... You, ideally, if you're doing this, you're going to want to have uh, either the insect bell or the crow cross bell. I prefer the insect bell. I have a video on which bow to use if, uh, if you're interested in that. I'll leave a link for that down in the description below. And you can use better arrows. And then for your statuses... Ideally, you would want to use the sharpshooter status if you have it, and then you would want to have mithridatism if you have it. That way, just in case you get hit by a wolf spider, you won't actually take damage from it. We're going to unequip that one. We're going to unequip Barbarian because I don't need that. And sharpshooter, you, to, if you're not aware, you unlock sharpshooter by killing insects with your bow. So if you kill 50 of them, it unlocks the first phase. I think it's 100 unlocks the second, and then 250 unlocks the third. So if you see like aphids, weevils, lawn mites running around, Make sure, and you want to get this unlocked quick, you can just go around and shoot them with your with any of your bows and a basic arrow, and you'll level this up really quickly. Mithridatism, you get that from wolf spiders, but since we're just going to be hunting wolf spiders, we're going to be assuming you don't have any, you haven't actually killed a wolf spider yet, we're not going to equip that. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip Natural Explorer. I'm not even going to equip Cardio Fan. Natural Explorer, you should be able to get very quickly. And what this, how you get this is by just discovering landmarks around the map. So that could be the labs, it could be the baseball, it could be any of the drinks, the juice boxes, the soda cans. You unlock, I think it's it's either 5 or 10, I think it's 5 to unlock the first one, then maybe 25 to unlock the second phase. You can't currently unlock the third phase because they haven't added all the landmarks yet. I think that's 50. So what I'm going to do, just to make this so, so you're just starting out and you don't really have anything unlocked, is I'm only going to equip Natural Explorer because you should be able to get that within the first day of playing. And then we're going to use the Sprig Bell. We're going to, I'm going to take 80 arrows with me. And I'm just going to use the Grub Armor. Like I said, you can also use um, Aphid Slippers or the Clover Armor. The goal here is to not take any damage. Because if you get hit by a Wolf Spider and you don't have the Mithridatism equipped. And you don't get a perfect block. You're going to end up taking Poison Damage. And you're going to die really quickly. So what we're going to do is we're going to try not to do that. The one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab myself a Dandelion Glider. Just to make sure in case I uh, need to run away. So... What we're going to do is we're going to head over to the spots where there's wolf spiders. If you're not aware, I think there's currently 11 wolf spider spawns in the map. I think that was the number. I have a video for that. I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link for that down in the description below if you need to see where the wolf spiders are. Now, one thing I will tell you from the Shroom and Doom, when the Shroom and Doom update dropped, the wolf spider pathing did change quite a bit. So prior to the Shroom and Doom update, the wolf spiders didn't really wander too far around the map. But now I'll end up seeing them around this house, which... We're currently in the dead center of the map where they are just south of the Mysterious Machine. The Mysterious Machine is right there. Up until the Shroom and Doom update, I almost never saw a wolf spider over here unless I followed someone. Now I will uh, periodically see them, just seeing one wandering around this path. So just be mindful that the wolf spiders are more they're more active now and they're, they they patrol much more and they will actually seek you out. If you see them putting their two front legs up, it means they can. I think it means they can sense you because I saw one earlier and it was just like following me wherever I went, even though I was up high and it couldn't possibly reach me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of my zip lines over to the oak tree. If we spot any on the way over, uh, we'll probably see if we can uh, drop and attack it. But most likely what I'm going to do is there's three wolf spider spawns at the oak tree. So we're just going to go over to the oak tree and hopefully at least one of them is under the tree, if not two of them. <clears throat> we're going to try to just get one of them at a time. And this should be really simple. The goal here is basically just to be high up where they can't reach you and then just use a bow. And oftentimes what will happen is if you get them in the right position, they'll just literally stand there and you could just shoot them with a bow and take care of them pretty quickly. Now, once once you unlock the Mithridatism and you get better armor, like if you have the Ladybug armor and you have Mithridatism equipped, you can pretty much just stand there and hit them with the Mint Mace or whatever, the weapon of your choice, and just pretty simply 
take care of them. Now, one issue I'm going to have is, can I actually, let's see if the one is under the leaf over here. Well, this, this is our main survival world. I think I did a bit there. I mentioned this in one of my videos before. We actually blocked off all but one of the entrances to the, um, under the oak tree. So the wolf spiders can't, can only get out on one side. And honestly, if you really don't want to have to deal with them, you could just block in all the entrances here and they wouldn't be able to get out. And then you wouldn't have to, you won't ever have to worry about them. Cause I, from what I know, I don't think they can actually, I don't think they phase through the walls or anything. So there should be probably two of them in there. But what we're going to do is we're going to head over here to the other side of the oak tree. And there should be one right on the other side of this root that's sticking out of the ground. It's usually hiding under this leaf. If it's not here, I know where the other ones are. We'll go find them. This guy will usually just end up standing here. And it's pretty simple. I want to make sure we don't fall. So he's sitting there. As you can see, this is one of the wolf spider spawns. There's also two of them inside of the underneath the oak tree sometimes. So all we're going to do is we're going to equip our bow. Now, what I would recommend, if you're just starting out, obviously, the sprig bow is pretty easy to craft. I would make sure you have a lot of errors. I don't know exactly how many errors it's going to take because I don't have any of the mutations equipped. And I have 80 right now. If you're not sure how to get errors, I do have a this video on how to get uh, on thistles. I'll leave a link for that down below as well. So just make sure you got a lot of arrows. Um, you should be able to recover most of them because hopefully this wolf spider is just going to behave and just stay exactly where it is. And it's just going to sit there and look at me. And it's not actually going to shoot poison at me because I don't think it'll shoot poison if I'm high enough up. And we're just going to shoot it a bunch of times. Hopefully it doesn't run away. If it runs away, we might have to chase it down. Um, so I would also recommend having the arrows, just having arrows in one of the hot bar slots down here, just so you see how many you have left. So you don't end up like having very few left and you start chasing it and then end up running out. So we're just going to shoot it real quick. And as you can see, this one, he's not, he's not, oh, is he running? Okay. So he can't get to us. So all we're going to do is basically just going to stand up here and just keep shooting him and hope that he doesn't run away. So of course he's starting to run away. There's also an orb weaver down there. We're not going to bother with the orb weaver. This is the strategy you can use on this one. The other two that are under the tree, you can do the same thing. You can basically just stand here and use your sprig bow and your arrows. And this guy is just going to sit here and do absolutely nothing. I'm not sure if they're going to change. I'm going to assume they're going to change the AI at some point. Maybe to make them like actually come up here because it could theoretically get to me. Of course, just as I say that, it starts running away. Uh, we definitely want it to come here. So I would say just as long as you can keep hitting it, just keep hitting it. And the one thing you're going to have to be mindful of is if you stop shooting it long enough, it will start regenerating health. So you want to make sure you just get continuous shots on it. And it's just going to be a slow and steady process here. Like I said, once you unlock um, Mithridatism, you can just go down there. And if you have good armor, you can just sit there and just face tank it with the mint mace or whatever weapon you prefer to use. And it shouldn't be too much trouble. Because honestly, they don't do a ton of damage to you. The damage they inflict is mainly from using, is from their poison attack. So that's as simple as that. So that's how you, that's an easy way to hunt them. There's a couple other ones around the map. You can usually get a height advantage over them. Now, do be mindful. I guess we're going to shoot this guy too, because I want to go down there and get my, um, this guy's not really going to pose much threat. I could probably just go down there and attack him. But we'll just do the same thing here. This guy's just actually going to sit here and sleep while we do it. Do be mindful that if you're standing on top of like a clover, they can push the clovers will like fold over while you're fighting it and you could potentially fall off of it. Also, um, I don't think they can not, they, I don't think they can knock. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if they actually attack weed stems or not. I have thought I have stood on top of a, a, like a dandelion on one of the leaves from it and shot a ladybug with an arrow. And this thing is taking, this is taking much longer than the wolf spider interesting maybe the or the or weavers must heal faster um so i did stand on top of weed stem one time and shoot a ladybug and the ladybug actually just kept charging it until it broke i the wolf spiders do have a jump attack but i don't know if they i'm assuming they probably could they probably could destroy the stem so as you see this seems to be taking much longer the orb weavers i think restore health at a faster rate now if i had the well, one thing I didn't mention was the... I don't, did I mention the Marksman Cap? If you have the Marksman Cap equipped, it also does extra damage. So if you have the Sharpshooter plus the Marksman Cap, and you're using either the Insect Bow or the Cross Bow, you're going to end up doing a lot more damage. This is taking way too long. I'm just going to go down there and hit him with a Mace because he's not actually going to do much damage to us, even with the Grub Armor. So the Orb Weavers, you shouldn't have any trouble just shooting or just hitting with whatever once you have like some armor. But the Wolf Spiders, you want to definitely make sure that you uh, stay back or equip that Mithridatism, which since I'm standing here and I'm not paying any attention, let's just equip this real quick. And like I said, you want to have Mithridatism, and if, if you have Sharpshooter unlocked, equip that, because that'll end up allowing you to do more damage. 
And as you can see here, if they if they behave and they just kind of stay in one spot, you can recover most of the arrows. And then the wolf spiders will give you two spider fangs, two spider ven venom, usually spider chunks. I don't know how many he gave me because I already picked some up from the previous one. And like I said, there's two more inside the tree. There's a bunch of other ones around the map. These arrows might be... I'm not sure how they were. Let me get the spider links here. We're not going to bother with those. These must have just phased through the tree. I'm not worried about that. So I ended up... I've, I've gotten 73 of my 80 arrows back. It looks like a couple of them glitched through, so... That's a simple, that's my strategy for fighting wolf spiders, especially early on. Like I said, once I, I've unlocked, once you unlock Mithridatism, I, as long as there's only one of them at a time, now it might be different on higher difficulties. If you're playing on mild or you're playing on medium, it's probably easier to face tank them. On low difficulty, I haven't, I've only started playing on low difficulty, so I haven't actually tried to face tank one because I haven't unlocked all the gear yet. So I'm not sure if you could just sit there and face tank it because they do do a lot more damage one oh geez there's one right there too so i almost walked into that guy so as you can see here this one's trying to get back under the tree but because we built these walls here it actually can't get in there the reason i did this because we were farming these stems to build the museum down there so anyway that's how you farm uh wolf spiders if you have any tips that you would like to share that i didn't cover in this video for other people make sure you leave those down in the comments below i'm always interested in seeing how other people play the game as every time I post a video and give my take on how, how I use a weapon or which weapons I like or which armor I like, there's always somebody who comes up with some kind of unique perspective that I hadn't thought of. So I'm definitely going to try those out. So let me know what armor combinations or how you like which weapons or bows or if there's any other way you like to fight them, leave those down in the comments below. That's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to smash the like button as it really helps my channel. If you want to support the channel even more, you can become a member by clicking the join button below or become a patron via the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.